home. Hey. God, are you cooking? You're funny. So how was work? Uh, work was work. Um, I had a meeting with district today. And? And they loved my research. You're kidding. No, they loved everything. So what does this mean? Uh, well, a, a lot of sciencey stuff, you know, like poking and prodding, and then I guess we get funded. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew I married the best damn geneticist on the East Coast. Uh, maybe, but I don't think I married Chef Ramsey. Oh, fuck. Oh, my crab cakes. It's cool. I mean, I kind of felt like pizza anyway. It's okay, babe. I'll buy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pizza was so good. I know. What was that? What the hell was that? Just wait here. I'm gonna grab something and I'm gonna take care of this. What? What the hell? Did you wait. hear that? Just stay behind something. What the hell? Get down! What, what the hell? You're freaking me out. Just grab a light or something. I'm gonna check the door. Just, just wait. Just what? stay back there. No. What are you doing? You know, sometimes you just really don't think things through. Do you see anything? There's, there's, there's a girl out there. What? She doesn't have any clothes on. She's naked. Maybe she needs help or something. I don't want to help her. Look, just stay where you're at. I'm going to go to the door. Just what? get back. No. Hello? Uh, are, are you hurt, ma'am? Do you need us to call someone? This is going to sound insane, but I need to speak to Maria Dashen. Does she live here? I may have missed her house. Dr. Dashen? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Naomi. I've been sent from the future with a warning. Just keep going, it's okay. okay. Oh. Oh. oh! Portal. <laughs> Go make her some tea. <coughs> okay, it's okay. Shh. We're all unstable. Uh, okay. <coughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh. <coughs> so, is there uh, anyone I could get a hold of? Family or something that you could I could come pick you up. Could I maybe have a glass of water? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I have a, an old t-shirt and some, some sweats. Thank you. Uh, you can uh, change down the hall. Oh, uh, you have a lovely home. It's so... It's so... So this is 
most action we've had on a Friday in a while. You're telling me. <sighs> she seems a little spaced out. I think she's all right. She sounds like a mental case. I mean, I asked her if there's anyone I could call, and she just stared at her engagement pictures. So weird. Yeah, she has intense eyes. I'd like to hear her story. How do you think we can prove that what she's telling is the truth? This is really strange for me. Most of the things in your home I've only seen in simulations. Sorry if I seem in awe. Oh, um, simulation? Yeah, I guess it's hard to explain, but there are these museums that you can go to that have virtual reality simulations of things from the past. Walkthroughs, I guess. Anyways, that's not important. We don't have very much time. I gotta make some coffee. Sorry if we um, seem a little bit weirded out, but time travel, how can you prove it? It's nothing like in the classic movies I've watched. You don't enter a date into a keypad. It's more like you're connected to a machine that uses energy from your body. It reads your thoughts. You have to stay really focused on the exact location and year. It can't pinpoint specific dates. What day is it today? Um, October 5th, 2016. Okay, so I left on December 12th, 2046. I tried to bring back proof, but it got lost on the trip. These are the only proof I have. <sighs> That's fascinating. How, how did you know I lived here 30 years ago? Let me explain. I was born in the year 2021, just five years from now in a small town just outside of Denver. You grew up in a time where technology was blossoming and the internet was just becoming a useful tool for the public. I grew up in a time where I didn't need to learn how to drive because all the cars drive themselves. See where I'm going with this? So you're like a next level millennial. We're called the I generation, but that's not important. In the year 2030, there was a scientific breakthrough by a group of geneticists who finally found the cure for cancer. <gasps> wow. That's the dream, eh, babe? Shh. It sounds like a great dream. It was great. I still remember watching it live on Ustream with my whole school. They called the group of people who cracked the genetic code the five soldiers of modern medicine. Along with the cure for cancer came the cure for Alzheimer's, ALS, AIDS, even the common cold. Modern medicine exploded. They saved millions of lives in the first couple of years, then hundreds of millions. I, I can't believe what I'm hearing. My whole area of study is in oncology. Um, <laughs> do you remember the name of the five geneticists? Well, that's why I'm here. Are you saying that Maria is one of them? That's exactly what I'm saying. <sighs> wait. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait a second. Um, so you're saying that 14 years from now, I cure cancer? Yes, I'm here to tell you to stop doing your research. population as of when I left was just short of 20 billion. There have been civil wars all over the world fighting for the natural resources that you take for granted today. 
The US had to start shipping its fresh water to different continents and now there's a shortage. Nobody has running water. You realize though that if I stop my funded research, all of these diseases will kill millions of people. I have the power to save lives. What was that? The portal, it just opens. There's no time limit. I can't risk missing it. Well, why didn't you tell us that? How will I know you're telling the truth? I know I told you I brought nothing back, but I managed to bring back this. Don't open it until I leave.